What's up everybody, Hakeem with Auto Fix Pal and today we are going to do a review on OEM Tools 3 piece flex head ratcheting wrench set metric. This is actually a flare ratcheting wrench set, a flare nut ratcheting wrench set. It doesn't say flare nuts on the box but that's exactly what this is. It says it has sizes 10 by 12 millimeter, 13 by 14 millimeter and 15 by 17 millimeter. It's a three piece set there it is, flex head tilts up to 180 degrees at any interval. Color indicates the ratchet direction. Posi grip, no slip design. 22061 is the part number. OEM tools, made in Taiwan, etch it in Taiwan. And that's what we got. That's the packaging. Let's open it up. Now this is not the um, first set of these that I owned. This is actually a warranty set right here. I purchased a set, um, let's say on a Monday, I don't remember the exact date, but let's say it was on a Monday. It broke by Thursday. So I called the company up, I actually called the seller that I got this from. I contacted the um, Amazon seller and said, hey, the set is, um, it broke. You know, what do you want me to do? Should I send it back and, you know, get an exchange? And they said, don't worry about it. Keep it. We'll send you out another one. And um, that's what they did. They sent me out another one. And this is what we got. And now I will show you what broke and why it will continue to break. These pieces right here, these color-coded pieces on the end of the wrench. This is actually made out of plastic. That's right. They put plastic on a wrench. I'm not sure who at OEM Tools thought that this was a good idea. But no, it's not a good idea to put plastic on a wrench. And the bad part about this plastic is that it keeps the wrench together. Now, I'm going to take this off. Hopefully, it doesn't break. These are plastic snap rings, basically. And they keep this wrench together so let's take that off hopefully it doesn't break see that now this wrench slides right out that's the ratcheting um, wrench mechanism well the mechanism is actually inside the wrench it doesn't come out of the wrench the ratcheting mechanism that's in the middle does not come out let's see if we can get you a shot of that yeah see that in there stays in there pretty good um, I contacted OEM Tools about that. I gave them a call, and the person I spoke with was not really certain about the design. They didn't know if that's the way it's supposed to be. I highly doubt that, that it's supposed to be like that. And um, they said that they would have somebody from engineering or technical. That's what they said. The word that they used was they would have somebody from technical give me a call back with more details on the product. That never happened. Never got a call back. So, basically, um, I like the wrenches, though. But basically, you know, I got this set of wrenches that I can't really use if I kept them with the plastic retainers because... Where did they go? There we go. Because this is going to break. No matter how careful you are, chemicals are going to eat this up. And these are, are line wrenches, so you're going to be using this with brake lines power steering lines, transmission lines, they're flare wrenches and you know the flare nuts usually have some type of um some type of fluid going through it that eats that plastic so this is what I did with the most common wrench that I use I have two sets of these now because they sent me another one they didn't want the other one back so basically what I did was took some snap rings, some metal snap rings and just put it around the wrench and it works great it works awesome now. It doesn't fall out. I can just slow, throw this on my car. I don't have to worry about the plastic piece breaking. And, um, you know, it's, it's actually very usable. This is a great set. If they just put snap rings around this to begin with, this would be an awesome tool. I mean, it's still great because, you know, a ratcheting flare nut wrench set, that's awesome. Instead of sitting there turning it one quarter turn by 
at a time, one quarter turn at a time, because you got the line in the middle, you can just ratchet it off like you would ratchet any other nut off. That's probably not the right motion. But anyway, you get the idea. So basically, I took the plastic piece off, this plastic piece here, throw that in the garbage, they're going to break. Put one of these snap rings on, and it's in their place, the appropriate size. You can buy a box of snap rings pretty cheaply on Amazon. I don't remember what I paid for the um, snap ring set, but I think it was like less than $5. I'm, I'm sure it was less than $10. I don't know if it was less than 5 or 10 but anyway, I'm sure it's less than 10 bucks. So you buy yourself a set of snap rings, get rid of the plastic crap, put them on the wrenches, and you got yourself a nice set of working wrenches that'll get the job done a lot faster than turning it, you know, quarter turn at a time, reposition, take it off, reposition, you could just go like that. Done. Um, that's the only bad thing I have to say about these wrenches is that they use plastic to keep them together. Who does that? Plastic, really? Come on, you're gonna use plastic to keep your wrenches together? That's so disappointing. Um, I really don't have much else to say about these wrenches. They do what they're supposed to do. The heads don't flop around. There was a discussion, a um, post posted recently in the Garage Journal. Do you like floppy flex head ratchets? Well, this is a wrench, but I don't like floppy flex heads. And these are not floppy. I've used this one for over a month. Not this one. This one. This one is just sitting in my house in the box because... I don't really need two sets yet. Well, anyway, I've been using this one to do recalls on Nissan's. There's an ABS actuator recall. So this gets used quite often, changing out ABS actuators on the Maximas and Muranos. And it works very well. I can't tell you how much time this thing saves. It gets in there. It's a tight spot, too. It gets in there, ratchets those lines right out. Saves me a lot of time. This wrench right here makes me the fastest in the shop doing that recall. And my power bleeder. I have a power bleeder, but anyway. That's another review I'll get to one day. So yeah, these, this set was about, um I think, $55. And if you don't mind buying this set and a set of snap rings to replace the plastic pieces, then by all means go ahead and get this because this is a great deal. I mean, Well, I wouldn't say a great deal, but... It's a great idea, and this is the only company that has this design with the um, flex head. There are other companies that sell ratcheting flare nut wrenches, but it's not this design. And it does, yeah, it's not this design. There's another company, Astro, makes a flare nut ratcheting wrench set. But it's not flex head. It's a similar design. I would buy that if it was flex head. And it seems to be, you know, built much better. There's no plastic in it. But it, you know, no flex head. This is critical right here. Getting into those tight spots. You gotta have a flex head. Now if actual decides to make that set that they do have on the market with a flex head. I'll get it. I'll definitely buy it. Alright, so OEM Tools, when you go to their website, it takes you to Great Neck Saw. And um, Great Neck Saw seems to be the owner of a couple of other tool groups. There is um, OEM Tools, Sheffield, who else? Great Light, Maze, and Buck Bros. Yeah, so there's Great Light, Maze, Buck Bros, OEM Tools and Sheffield are all under um, Great Neck Saw. So if you go to oem-tools.com, it will take you to that website, greatnecksaw.com, and um, I'm assuming you know they are the owner of OEM Tools because it says so right on their website. So that would not be an assumption. But anyway, yeah, check it out. Links are in the description. I like these wrenches a lot. I wish they were not using plastic retainers. Yes, I've said that in this video a lot. But, Excuse you know, me, that's what we need. Yes, buddy? Excuse me. Oh, you're going to run me over? No, I'm not. 
Okay, good. Don't run daddy over. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like my channel, please click the like button. Or if you like this video, you know, click the like button. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Please leave your comments below. And any suggestions, um, you know, leave that down in the comment section as well. Alright? Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Alright, so this is a close-up of the wrench. Let's see if I can get it to focus now. There we go. I'm in the focus zone. Well, let's show you the plastic retainer. The ridiculousness that is the plastic retainer. If it'll focus. There we go. See that? See how thin that is and how flimsy that is? Come on, guys. What were you thinking? Really? Who does that? Oh, that's not the one. That's the one I already repaired. There it is. See that? That plastic keeps that in there. Bad idea. Very bad idea. Hi, buddy. Welcome back. I don't want to do okay? Let's see if we can get this back together. There we go. See? Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, buddy. Thank you for picking up the paper. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. It's a nice finish. Good looking wrench. Works well. It's got a stiff flex head. Actually, all of the wrenches, the flex head portion, works pretty good. Oh, well, this one's a little looser than the other.